the scientists' amazing discovery of the untouched civilization on a mountain in the Amazon jungle. In today's video, we'll show you how scientists just discovered an untouched civilization on top of a mountain in the Amazon jungle. So, keep watching. The Amazon rainforest contains some of the world's most unknown sections of land, covering a massive area of over 7 million square kilometers of protected natural rainforest. There are still many mysteries and sites that the jungle conceals. According to anthropologists, one of the most recent discoveries is the ancient city of Machu Picchu, which existed during the time of the Inca Empire. On July 24, 1911, American archaeologist Hiram Bingham sees for the first time the remains of Machu Picchu, an old Inca settlement in Peru that has since become one of the world's most popular tourist sites. Machu Picchu, located in the mountainous countryside northwest of Cusco, is thought to have been a summer hideaway for Inca chiefs, whose civilization was nearly wiped out by Spanish invaders in the 16th century. Its presence remained a closely guarded secret for hundreds of years, known only to the region's peasants. All that changed in the summer of 1911 when Bingham arrived with a small team of explorers to search for the Inca's famous lost cities. According to anthropologists, the city of Machu Picchu is thought to have been constructed in the early 1500s and was tucked away in the Amazon rainforest. The great Inca ruler, Pachacuti Inca Opuncuy, who ruled between the years 1438 and 1471, is thought to be responsible for the construction of this great city, which was left undiscovered for more than 400 years before the official discovery was made back in 1911 by Yale history professor Hiram Bingham. Although the city was considered a royal estate, the traditional line of secession would not have applied because it was a magnificent but private city palace of the ruler himself. Due to the ancient city's personal and private nature, there are very few recorded facts about its construction and daily operations. As a result of the Spanish invasion of the Inca Empire, the entire city of Machu Picchu was divided into two main regions. It is estimated that the city was occupied for less than a century before being abandoned. The higher town area contains the urban sector and houses the palaces, temples, and living quarters, followed by the lower town region. This includes the sector of agriculture. Over 200 structures stood in this ancient city, with various compounds all placed in a parallel terrace system in line with the slope of the mountain. The architecture of the entire city is intended to conform to the shape of the mountain on which it was built. Only 750 people live in Machu Picchu, which served as the ruler of the Inca Empire's royal estate. The majority of them were serving staff that looked after the ruler and the nobles who lived in the mountain city. The large workforce included not only workers and farmers, but also Inca Empire religious experts and wise men who all attended to the needs of the ruler and his illustrious court. The city was also dotted with ancient monuments. The Incas believed the stone had the power to hold the sun in place during the winter solstice as it would almost be directly above the stone so that it cast no shadow on any site. In Dimakay, a special cave used in celebrating the royal feast of the sun was also discovered on the site. During the celebration, local boys who had reached adulthood and had been ceremoniously pierced in the ear were required to stand within the cave and watch the sun rise. The cave's windows were created in such a way that they are unique and they only let sunlight in during the summer solstice in December. Other ancient towns discovered in the Amazon jungle that reflects the ancient Inca Empire show that the Incas were master stone builders. One such city was Machu Picchu, where the structures were constructed using stone blocks that were precisely cut to fit together without the need of cement. The mountain that housed Machu Picchu was susceptible to seismic activity because of these fault lines, which made it difficult to create secure structures because even a small earthquake would move the stones out of place. The entire city was built on these fault lines. The Incas of antiquity discovered a resolution to this issue. A thorough examination of the skeletal remains discovered in and around the city reveals that the majority of those who lived in Machu Picchu were immigrants from various parts of the continent, most of whom arrived by boat. As they cut the stones to perfection and shaped them in such a way that they would fit perfectly with spaces less than 0.0 centimeters between each stone placement, this resulted in the most stable structures that had survived several earthquakes that have plagued the region for centuries. Instead, these remained better indicators of specific bacteria and water parasites that are not native to this region of the Amazon jungle. 
given that the main foods consumed in Machu Picchu were maize, potatoes, and legumes. The majority of the skeletal remains indicated that these people may have immigrated from coastal areas to work on the site, as they have lower levels of bone fracture and arthritis than most modern people. Being a mountaintop city, most agricultural practices and farming at Machu Picchu were carried out on hundreds of man-made terraces that lined the side of the mountain. Because the Inca people were more prone to arthritis and bone fractures as a result of heavy physical labor in farming and those serving in the Inca military, these terraces were an impressive feat of engineering. Since researchers estimated that Machu Picchu got more than 71 inches of rain per year, irrigation in the terraces would have been a significant challenge. The main crops grown on these terraces were potatoes and corn, which were not enough to feed the nearly 1,000 people living in the city. This explains why recent excavations found evidence that most of what the locals in Machu Picchu consumed was imported from various nearby towns and valleys and animals that are not indigenous. The relatively low altitude of Machu Picchu also made any plans of irrigation non-existent. The animals weren't just brought in for food, as remains found near burial sites and ceremonial areas indicated that these animals were used for funeral rituals and other religious practices. Animals that naturally do not live at such low altitudes such as llamas and alpacas would have been dragged into the city. This explains the bone structure of the remains found throughout the entire Inca region. The Inca rulers, on the other hand, rewarded their subjects by allowing access to food, land, and goods as well as sporadic celebratory feasts and ceremonial events. It is assumed that the inhabitants of Machu Picchu lived peacefully for well over 80 years until the Spanish conquistadors invaded Peru in 1532. Much of the Inca Empire was destabilized as even larger cities fell to the Spanish. Since the Inca Empire only had weapons made of stone, wood, copper, and bronze, none of which stood a chance against the steel armor of the Spaniards, they lacked the military tactics necessary to repel the Spanish forces. And it is thought that the residents of the mountain city abandoned their homes to escape the pursuit of the Spanish conquistadors. And it is thought that the residents of the mountain city abandoned their homes to escape the pursuit of the Spanish conquerors. After the Inca Empire fell, many of the major cities were destroyed, including Machu Picchu. The elaborate farming system that the Inca people built at Machu Picchu, according to researchers, was effectively destroyed by the Spanish in an effort to subjugate the Inca people. The subjugation of the Inca Empire was followed by the spread of disease, which devastated the few remaining populations of the Incas. The official discovery of the site, which has since become a major tourist attraction and an important archaeological site, was made by the university. Today, Machu Picchu is both a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a national cultural attraction, with the ruins of the city on the hill attracting well over 1 million tourists each year. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful and informative, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like my video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.